uninvited guests. No matter. I'm certain we can accommodate them. Ladies, ensure our visitors are made comfortable. As you command, mistress. Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to the Battle for Azeroth expansion. Today, I'm joined here with Submerge. He is one of the head mods in the ATN community. What's going on, buddy? Not a lot. How's it going? Good, good. Today, we are in the Waycrest Manor dungeon, uh, and we're going to be breaking out of bounds and checking out the out of bounds uh around the dungeon <laughs> you could say uh but we're just going to be going through the dungeon like normal real quick and killing the mobs and then uh, we'll be showing you guys how we break out uh submerge you want to lead the way because we, we so we need to get out to the courtyard that's where we're going to be performing the glitch to get out uh, but we're going to clear the mobs along the way here and we're actually playing on normal mode to make it a little easier to just clear through so let's clear these mobs real quick by the way, as we're doing this, um, what's your thoughts on this dungeon, and do you have any good memories with this place? Honestly, not really. Honestly, not really? <laughs> were you not a big fan of this dungeon? I wasn't around when it was current. Ah, okay. Like, uh, you just didn't start playing WoW until... When did you start playing WoW? Like, when, when did you enter the game? BC. Oh, okay, but did you take a break around BFA? Ah, why is my jump not working? It's weird. It's like my gliding is like disabled. You guys are gonna watch me play, and I I still click buttons, so I don't just use the numbered keyboard. Cool. So we made it out to the courtyard. That's good. It's exactly where we needed to go. Just kill this guy real quick. There we go. Okay. So, how to perform this glitch, um, it's actually right over here in the uh, corner. So, what you can do is you can jump on top of here, jump on top of here, and then jump on top of the uh, fireplace. I think you should be able to get around if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'm trying to remember how to do this. So, I think we can just put a pillow right here, actually. Yeah, there we go. And then that should let us out. Yep, there we go. Now we're outside the map. So that's how to perform the glitch. Uh, it's very simple. You just want to get in the corner of the courtyard, place down a pillow, and then you should be able to get out. Now be careful, because you might glitch back in. So, Did you have another way how to get out of here, Submerge? Not at all. Oh, here, you want to shadow step to me? I don't know if that might be easier. There we go. All right, guys, we are back again. Sorry about that. We officially got out of the map together. <laughs> so that was that was a challenge, but we did it. We overcame it. Um, so one of the things that we're doing here is once we go over outside the wall, you can actually walk through the manor walls over here. Um, and as you can see, you get this awesome view of just the uh, the outside perspective of the map. Now, the only thing is... I don't know how far we can actually go in here because we don't want to go back into bounce. So I'm going to go this way and follow submerged over here. And as you can say, tell, I have a stinky bright potion on, so it does light up the whole map, which is really awesome. Normally this takes place at night, um, but I like seeing this in a different light here. I think it gives it an awesome view. Now the manor is uh really it's supposed to be like one of the spooky dungeons in the game um i i wish there was more dungeons like this in the game i, I think they would have been a lot of fun but i do like the haunted mansion type theme that they got going here as you can tell we are right below the boss room here uh can we get in view of the boss though is the question yeah here goes the bosses with the witches yeah you can see it if you position your camera properly yeah seeing them right now this is really cool or if you come over here there is no wall over here 
Oh yeah, you're right. That's awesome to see. So as you can tell, when you come outside the ma the manor, most of it is modeled and uh, solid ground, which is, I don't know, really awesome. Uh, Submerge, you being a game developer, um, maybe you could talk about a little bit how this map is kind of made and how it was kind of put together. Um, you know, why why is it when you go outside of a like a, a dungeon map? Why do you see, like, from the inside? Shouldn't there be, like, walls up and stuff from the outside? Well, I mean, that depends. In this case, you're not technically supposed to see this side. So they can cheese it and save system resources on both your end and their own servers by only spawning in uh, one wall that only has one side. Mm. Essentially, you're just looking at a picture. That ah, could okay. be nothing more than four dots. The picture slapped on it. Really? Jeez, okay. Now, as you see, we do see some of the interior. Um, that's where the walls are actually double sided, or the art assets. If you look up, you'll see pillars and different pieces of the roof and whatnot. What's really interesting is over here where we keep all of these art assets loaded in for no reason. <laughs> They're not going to be seen. Why are they here? That's what I always wondered. I'm always asking that on all my videos. I'm going to go in this house over here. Let's go take a look inside. Oh, the music did change. We got the awesome uh, BFA music going on. Yeah, I'm not sure though. I don't know why. As you guys can see, they do keep down here, which is uh, Drus, uh, sorry, Drusfar. So we're down here into White Grove Chapel and the Core Lane. So that's really awesome that they keep all of this out here. All right, let's head around the wall here. Give you guys a good view. So the dungeon from the outside isn't that big. Now what's interesting here is they do unload a lot of all the houses and stuff down here. So you got these little markings. Hey, uh, what are these markings on the ground usually? Is that just like where houses are usually placed? That could be terrain pass. That could be where like a waterfall is. You see how steep that the mountain face is there? Yeah. I'd imagine there's water running down that. Um, I honestly couldn't tell you. You want to jump down? Let's see. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go Pretty check it out. <laughs> Get an awesome Batman glide oh, here. Actually, there's a lot over here. I bet this is going to be a lot like Court of Stars, wherein it's just the entirety of the world. Uh -oh. Yeah. Can we mount up? Nope, can't mount nope. up up here, unfortunately. Nope. Even if you are it outside, because you're technically sad. never supposed to be in here. Because the game yeah, still thinks you're in a dungeon. An interior dungeon, nonetheless. Yeah. So let's actually go head up this way. And I'll show you guys what's going on over the mountainside here. So you get like this awesome, just unloaded view <laughs> of everything. Now, see, I am surprised that through here they actually did take time to unload all of the art assets because this. There would be a floor right here. There's no divot in the game world there. I mean, there is, but as you can see, you're you're going to be walking over it. And a lot of times like this, where this is empty, this is a building. Mm. The, the scene designer or the level designer will leave this here for the art guy, or the next art guy, I should say, the asset guy, to come in and drop in a building along this place, line it up. They got like a little path here that they can put like a little fence along and just really make use of the whole scene. But this is more or less what the end result should be once it's filled out. They just have to fill in the gaps. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that's awesome to know. I'm glad you're here because I would have not been able to explain any of this type of stuff. And then see um, this donut? Yeah. I assume this is a well. Ah, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Just from Either the drawing. that or a statue. Hmm. Because, you know, you got a nice, a nice circle here. 
there's obviously going to be an obstacle right here. It could even be a tree. I don't see any trees. By the way, your umbrella is perfect for the weather outside. It is. <laughs> I need to get that. Is that a toy, by the way? It is. Um, it's available in, uh, I think, Shadowlands in Revendreth. Mm, okay, that I makes do sense. Believe so. All right, I'll have to go check that out. Oh, look at this awesome shot on the cliff here, guys. So, I zoom in my camera. I love that shot of just the Waycrest Manor, but you're seeing it from the outside, so a lot of it's unloaded. <laughs> but you get like this really cool shot of like the mountain in the background. And now, let me turn off my sneaky bright potion, and you can see the manor for all its entirety. I was normally supposed to look a lot darker, a lot spookier. But I'm actually going to turn back on the Stinky Bright Potion because it allows us to see things in a better perspective. Um, Alright, well, we've seen this side of the map. You want to go check out the other side? Let's go. Alright, let's start heading out this way. It's so awesome to have your commentary here because it's great to explain things. Now, hopefully we can get up the mountain here. Well, I'm sure one of us can cheese it, and the other one can jump up somehow. Yeah, I think I'm going to start over here. There we go. Got to wait for my fell rush cooldown to come. Um, did you play any during the BFA expansion at all? No, I actually uh, ended up taking a break during uh, about the first portion, first third, I'd say, of Warlords. Didn't mm. return until the very end of Dragonflight. Oh, wow. Okay. <clears throat> what made you come back? Just weren't interested in the other expansions? Uh, boredom. Research. Yeah. Seeing if what I was doing was exactly what I oh. remembered. Dude, I totally just failed. <laughs> I was all the way up, and then I dropped back down. I didn't make my metamorphosis, dang it. I saw that. You know what we may need to do? Um, I don't know if there's a way to get back up easier. Maybe we can just go around here. Yep. I'm afraid to touch the water, though, because you're normally never supposed to swim here. So I that might be DC. It depends on where it's at. We could find out, though. Here, I'll go test it out. Here we go. Wish me luck. I'll be your test dummy. Oh no, we're good. We can swim. All right. Well, that's good to know. Well, you know what we can do? We can head out this yeah. way and just I swim around. We know what we can do. We can put on our anglers' fishing rafts and book it. Oh yeah. I didn't think about that. I love this toy. You know? Oh yeah, you're right. I can't use that. Oh. <laughs> Wait, do you have one? I do, but I don't have the Pandaria fishing one on my Demon Hunter. That's hilarious. All right, hold on. We'll, we'll take the alternative. <laughs> That's okay. No, 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 no. It's all good. We got an alternative. Let me pull it up. I actually thank you for reminding me that after this video, I'll we'll get the fishing just so I can just have that raft. I do have right. it, but I can't use it. That's sad. What do you mean requires water service? Aha. Oh, nice. We're going to go take a lovely stroll. Look at that. You would think you'd be on a little paddle love boat with me. I don't know. I think through. we've already been on one or one <laughs> once or twice already. Oh, yeah. We did in the Court of Stars, honest. didn't we? Yeah. Forgot yeah, about when I that. showed you guys how to break out of the Court of Stars. Mm hmm. This is a cool tool. I had too. to show you the route to not get disconnected and destroyed. I went through that pain. It hurt. I'm assuming you got this toy through Valentine's Day, right? Yeah, I farmed for both of these. There's a two seater and a four seater. Hmm. And if I'm not mistaken, they do not share a cooldown. Oh, that's nice. I'll they have to do get not. this. There's a lot of toys I'm missing. I still need to get myself. Okay. I only have 315, apparently. Jeez, that's so a this lot. This is wide open. 
when I zoom in, the heart blocks my view. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So we're getting a great view of the side of the mountain over here going into uh, Stormsong Valley. And uh, yeah, that should be Stormsong Valley right over there on the left side. Now, I don't know how much they actually keep back here. It Ooh. doesn't look like a lot. Uh, they do cut off, at least on the other side, I noticed a big portion of the map. And it looks like we might have a leading edge over here, but I'm not sure. Hmm. So I guess it's just like a big smoke and mirror effect when you go out in the courtyard in the dungeon. Oh, absolutely. Oh, fatigue. What is this? Makes sense. We're in the dark part of the water. Oh, shit. We are. Wait. What? That's the light part on the minimap. That's so wild. <laughs> <laughs> this is the dark part on the minimap. The safe part. Backwards, Blizz. You're backwards. All right. Uh oh. I think there's some dry land over there. Over where? Uh oh, map. I'm going crazy. Never mind. I thought Are you hallucinating? A little bit. The 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 water, you see where it like cuts off over there? I thought that was all land right there. I don't know, I was going crazy. Yeah, we're gonna go. A sweet 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 relief. We're going to go right over here and see what we can't climb. Let's do it. I wonder if we can climb that mountain. I think we can. Oh, you could have waited. I huh. got you on dry land. <laughs> can we use... So, where do you want to climb? The left mountain? There does look like there's stuff over there. But that's a huge mountain to climb on our left side. Let's just get past the big obstacle in front of us first. I think the map cuts off right over here. It seems like it might. What do you call that space? Um, undeveloped space, I guess? I don't know what you call it. When the map Where? just cuts off completely. Nothing. Oh, that is land, by the way. Really? Oh, I did not know. Yeah, if there's nothing there, there's just nothing. Hmm. There's not like a development name for it? <laughs> not that I'm aware of. I just call I it... I mean, I guess technically it'd be the void. The edge of the world? Yeah. Out of bounds. Can you get up easily just, here? Do you record and follow? Alright guys, we're back. And we're on top of the very tippy-toppy mountain. And we're about to go down with a sea mist potion. And I'm going to follow submerged here, so let's go. I got a little bit thirsty and drank mine early, so I didn't want to waste it. <laughs> How much longer you got on yours? Nine seconds. Oh, boy. Can you pop your umbrella in midair? I just did. Oh, good. Yeah, that was my thought. Look at this. Oh. It's the cloud. Transition from cloud to Mary Poppins. <laughs> That's what's up. Now we need to go see what's over there on the right side of the map. Oh, shiza. Oh. Don't go that way. The wall? I am floating off of the edge. Good thing I'm a demon hunter. Oh, my word. I think it bounced me back. What the f... Oh, no. And oh, it no, ended. No, no, no. There we go. I almost just fell into the oblivion, y'all. By the way, shout out to Hero for showing me these seed mist potions. These things are awesome. I get to do the cool Batman glide down the mountain here. It's out when you get down here. You want to talk about some cool terrain? <laughs> yeah, it's like a trippy... It looks like a puzzle piece. So, again, um, remember how I was telling you that that top of that mountain where it was jagged? Yeah. As a result of them sculpting the terrain, that's exactly what this is. Ah, okay. But it's trippy. If you look, it still counts as water. Huh. Oh yeah, you can ride your raft around it. That's a trip. We can summon a boat on this. Like, what is it? 
I don't know, but it's terrain. I'm gonna find out. It says I've left Waycrest Manor. Where are you headed? Where did it put you? Oh, it didn't. Oh. I've just left Waycrest Manor. Oh, yep, I just left too. Now we're in the middle of nowhere. Uh, That's on the, the mini map, though. You're Where's... also in the oh. middle of nowhere. Can we mount map. up down? No, no mounts yet. No, we won't be able to mount. Period. Ah, uh, look at this. The edge of the terrain. So there's a way to walk past the end of the water. There's so many toys I'm missing. Oh, I'm just skating past. Uh, here, let me get my boat so we can at least explore together. Can't leave you behind. Crap, I left you way behind. What is this snail's pace back here? Oh, it didn't let me choose my duck disguise. Why is that? Lame. Let's see your duck. All right, let's see. Where? Is this at? Requires. All right, let's go on an adventure on the left side of the map now, since we're already on the right side. Charge! Imagine being on the battleground. All you see is a floating umbrella coming after you. <laughs> That'd be OP. The I thing know, is, though. Turn around. Yeah, we might want to turn oh. around. Oh no, I was talking about if I saw an umbrella coming at me. Nope. There we go. We'll be all right. So this is where we actually uh, first went down for the. Uh... So if you notice, we are actually coming up on the edge of the dungeon map. Yeah, this. So this is what you call the edge of the world, right? Yeah. At least I think that's what this would be. I don't see any viable terrain anywhere past it. Looks like a solid, clean cut. That's Blizzard style. I mean, give you guys a. Under the oh look, this counts as water. Huh. Does it? Finally. Well, this does over here. There's this part, but then you walk off. This water? Oh, Non-water. Okay. Nope. No, I sure don't. Huh. Walking in puddles right now. I know, right? It's weird. I can use my fishing raft. Well, if I weren't stealthed. This has been a crazy adventure. Kind of a neat map outside though i mean they don't keep too much but what they do keep is kind of neat to see though Ew. you got these weird grooves going on with the walls Ooh, check this out is a shadow or what is this oh you know what it's probably the shadow of a house i don't think it is actually it's pretty big oh it just keeps going too what the heck Exactly. So I mean, it's pretty big. Like a I tree or something? It's just a shadow. It looks like it's just the texture change, honestly. Hmm. I think we can get up over here. But get, made a full circle here. Look at us. Oh yeah. That's <laughs> what we do. Well, this has been a fun video. Yeah, I like the commentary you have. We'll have to get a hero on here with us. He can show us some things. Oh, I do, I do want to record a video with hero of him showing the uh, guide to Stormwind OBs. I need to have him do that. That's pretty wild through here. We make our way up here. Likely. Let's um, see. I think we're going to be back to where we started, actually. I'm checking around this other side just to see since I'm able to do it quickly. Oh, yeah. No worries. You're good. Um, yeah. Complete circle. How about that? Catch me outside. So this is actually where we came down at right here. <laughs> Where we decided to go for our swim. <laughs> we did full circle, my friend. Oh, yeah. There we go. We got up. Woo. Hey, look, I see your skull. Oh, yeah, I see your star. <laughs> well, awesome, man. I'm glad we were able to do a full circle here. Yeah. Um... 
this has been a fun video and uh well i mean i think that should be about it it looks to be i think well everyone i want to say thank you for joining us in the waycrest manor uh, if you guys haven't been out here, definitely come check out this OOB. It's a lot of fun, really easy to perform. I will warn you though, there's a lot of mountain climbing. Um, so if you don't have the tools to do it, uh, you've been warned. But Demon Hunter, bring you know, a demon hunter. yeah, bring a Demon Hunter. There you go. That would be the advice. <laughs> Rogue is viable, but it's a lot harder to get around in. Um, oh, no. you, you still need the Demon Hunter. Right? Yeah. If you guys are ever going to do OOB, just, just bring a Demon Hunter. It's the best OOB class in the game um, for many, many reasons. But, I mean, you know, all the more power, too, if you can pull it off with other classes. Um, but, yeah, guys, thank you for joining us in the Waycrest Manor. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, as always, my name is Nathan. Joined here with Submerge. Thanks for joining me with the video, bud. Yep, it's fun. Time, and thanks bud. for your game developer commentary. We'll have to go do some more of that. I like that but uh oh by the way if you guys haven't checked out his game he's making um definitely check it out i posted a video on it a while back um it was uh what's the tower defense one what's it called again called unearthing invasions there it is unearthing invasions check it out on steam um when is it going uh is there a big sale coming up for it or anything like that uh, i think it actually just got off of sale Ah, uh, okay, for probably the summer sale, right? It was the uh, Tower Defense Fest. Ah, okay. Well, either way, go check it out. Great game. I had a lot of fun playing it. Actually, I need to pick it up again myself um, and yeah, make another video on it. Coming uh, pretty soon. What I'd like to do is do a video on that and have you talking over the commentary and talking about the game and development and all that. That would be fun. Right. Oh. Yeah, it might be. All right, guys. Well, as always, my name is Nathan. We'll catch you on the next video. Take care.